In this video, you'll learn an easy but visually stunning morph trick. This tutorial is divided into three parts. First, I'll show you how to create a dynamic icon list. Second, we'll use this technique to design a sleek team slide for introducing your team members. And third, I'll guide you through building a process slide to visualize steps in a flow. By the way, if you love shortcuts, there's a free template waiting for you on my blog. Just check the link in the description. Now let's jump into PowerPoint. First, add a rectangle that covers the entire slide. Make sure there's no outline. Set the fill color to light gray. Next, reduce the height and width of the shape by one inch. Now, align it to the center and middle. I keep all alignment commands on my quick access toolbar, which saves me a lot of time. You can also find these commands on the Home tab under the Arrange menu. If you want your most used commands just a click away, check out my video on the Quick Access Toolbar. The link is in the description below. Next, add a colored square. Hold Ctrl and Shift, then drag the square to create a duplicate. Use the smart guides to align them side by side. If you don't have them, right-click on the empty space, go to the Grid and Guides menu, and activate Smart Guides. Duplicate it one more time. Hold Shift and click the squares to select them all. Now group them. Stretch the group so it covers the gray shape. Now ungroup them. Select the second colored section and flip it horizontally. Now let's add the content. Here I'm using simple blocks with an icon, a headline, and body text. But you can use any type of content that suits your needs. Next, use Ctrl D to duplicate the slide. On the third slide, delete the first and second colored sections. On the second slide, delete the first and third sections. On the first slide, leave only the first section. Select all the slides. Go to the transitions and click Morph. I suggest setting the duration to 1.25 seconds. Let's take a look at what we've created. Looks awesome, such a simple trick, but it really grabs attention. Next up, let's use this trick to craft a catchy team sequence. The initial steps are the same. Just swap the content with basic team info. Make two duplicates of the slide. Delete the colored sections on the third slide. To fade out the images, select them and set their transparency to 90%. Do the same for the other slides. By the way, did you know I've got an online course for morph enthusiasts? This is a super affordable crash course that covers everything from beginner steps to advanced moves. Check out the link in the description and join the movement today. We're done, let's check out the result. If you think it's awesome, hit that like button or drop some love in the comments. Next, we'll create a dynamic process sequence. Let's replace the icons with numbers. For this variation, flip the second section back. Also, let's give it a darker shade. Next, make the first section even darker. Now make two duplicates. On the second slide, select the second and third sections and align them to the left. On the first slide, align all sections to the left. Well done! Let's check out the result. If you enjoyed the video, follow for more or join my course to Master Morph in no time. And that's it. See you next time.